Okay player, it's time to level up your game. Today we're going over the best fragrances in my collection, 10 fragrances and 5 different scenarios that these will cover. I personally still need to collect more niche fragrances for myself. I'm not the richest guy in the world, that's why I always like to sample a niche fragrance before I acquire it. I know a lot of you are in a variety of countries watching this right now and struggle to get samples. Pay attention to today's sponsor, it will be a game changer and a lifesaver. Let's start the video, class is in session. First of all, let's start off with the versatile category. These are the fragrances you can wear anywhere, anytime. They can be your signature, jack of all trades, master of none fragrances. Starting off with Parfum de Marly's Leighton. This is a 10 out of 10, the best from the brand in my opinion, the best sweet scent from the brand anyways. It's a powdery fresh apple pie fragrance that gets you Infinite compliments lasting 14 hours. If you wear this, you will smell unique, upper class, luxurious, and the best thing about Leighton is that it works across a variety of age groups. This is definitely one of my most reached for niche fragrances so far in my collection. Or let's say you wanna be a bit more sharp and fresh with your signature. Tom Ford's Ooh Wood has to be in here. I'm counting any fragrance from a private line in a designer house also as niche because that's the slot they're competing for. Oud Wood is a masterpiece as well, reformulated but you're still getting at least six to eight hours of performance. The most beginner friendly Oud fragrance, sharp, masculine, smoky, woody, a head turner that is not your typical sweet and broxen tonka bean fragrance you get in most designers nowadays. This will make you stand out. Again, a lot of compliments. Although again, similar to Leighton, you can use this all year round, but neither one of these are that uh, good for the summertime. That's when they're their weakest. So let's go to the next category. Category number two is the summer category. In the warm weather, when you want to go a bit more light and fresh, this is my first most reached for summer fragrance. Remarkable People by Etat Libre d'Orange. Shout out to my boy Luke in the atrium of Scent, our private group. He was the one who put me onto this. This is the most unique woody fragrance you'll ever smell. It is sandalwood with citrus and champagne. That's right, a weird but amazing champagne note in here, giving this sandalwood fragrance, which is usually a wintertime note, a, a bright and fizzy effect to it. It lasts about four to six hours, but it smells so beautifully smooth, so perfectly natural, that you will always reapply this. You'll happily reapply this. It's sort of like a Lure Homme Edition Blanche. It's one of those fragrances that smells so beautiful. I think it's definitely worth the money. One of my favorite summer fragrances I've ever smelt in my life. And fragrance number two has easily become one of my most favorite fragrances of all time, sent in by today's sponsor, Lucky Scents. This is Goldfield and Banks Bohemian Lime. This is a 10 out of 10 summer fragrance. Scent wise, this is perfect. This sort of smells like light blue intense mixed with Roger Dove's Elysium. It has these, this particular finger lime note. It's not a regular lime note in here. Finger lime, which is seen as the caviar of the citrus world. And I would say this is the caviar of the summer fragrance world. This is so smooth. I don't know how they did it. It lasts about six hours, a good amount for a citrus summer fragrance. And it just smells so beautiful. This is so high quality and it's still so reasonably priced for a niche fragrance. Lucky Scent is a great sponsor today because they are a company that specializes in niche fragrances and niche samples. I know a lot of us around the world struggle to get samples sent to our country. I will put you onto these guys. They sent me this fragrance and they also sent me Tower L'Air du Desert Moroccan. I asked Lucky Scent to send me some fire fragrances and they did not disappoint. They know their niche fragrances. Not only can you pick your individual niche samples that you want, but they also do their own mixed sample pack. So things like 13 different samples all together for a reasonable price, picking the best fragrances that they have to offer. They know their stuff. This fragrance is in that pack as well as Bohemian Lime. These are fantastic fragrances. I highly recommend you check them out. We will leave a link in the description down below. Now we're going into the clubbing fragrance. These two are beast mode fragrances. If you want longevity, this is the perfect section of the video. Naso Mato's Black Afghano. I think this meme on the screen perfectly depicts this fragrance. That basically uh, says everything you need to know. This is a nuclear fragrance. It's 30 mils, but I always say in my videos, you'll never get through 30 mils of this. I go two half sprays. And this is the only thing that myself 
or anyone else can smell for at least 24 hours. When you apply this fragrance, you are committing. It is a good, interesting, beautiful, smoky, ashy hashish. Not, a, not a, exactly smelling like weed or cannabis, but it's got this very interesting, uh, sweet, smoky effect to this fragrance. Only for cold weather, definitely. But when you do wear this, you're bound to get a lot of compliments. This is a big head turner, and this will definitely be a conversation starter in the club. I can guarantee you that, boys. Or a little bit more tame, but still beastly. Mancera's Instant Crush. Technically a unisex fragrance. This is Mancera's take on the Baccarat Rouge DNA, but they've made this a bit more creamy, a little bit more floral. Overall, very sexy, big and sweet. Uh, similar to fragrances like Invictus. I feel like girls like these unisex fragrances, uh, like Ultramal as well, that sort of grabs their attention. They sort of think to themselves, Oh, I could wear this myself, but this guy is wearing it, which makes you more interesting. In my opinion, those kind of fragrances actually do make you stand out more in the crowd of hyper-masculine fragrances like Sauvage. This still lasts at least over 14 hours. Again, loud projector. For the office slash professional category, again, I'm going to show another fragrance sent to me by Lucky Scent. Eccentric Molecules Molecule 01. If you don't know this fragrance, it's famous in the community, mainly consisting of ISO E Super, a very famous note in perfumery, used in every single designer fragrance, but it, by itself it smells like a sexy, musky, woody skin that works on both men and women. It's not the most complex perfume, but it is guaranteed compliments. I'm not sure why. Uh, this stuff just works. This is in my top list because of the fact that you can't deny how effective this is. If you're a person who wants to work in an office and you want to be inoffensive but still get compliments for at least 10 hours, then this fragrance just works. I have mentioned the unbranded stuff before, and although this is cheaper, this stuff has citral and linalool in it, giving it this citrus, clean linen effect to it. This still gets you compliments, but smells like a pure, harsh chemical, so it's not as enjoyable for the wearer. Whilst this feels more like a complete fragrance. Yes, it is probably still a little bit overpriced for what it is, but I do still think it is worth getting Molecule 01. It is super versatile in your collection. Don't forget, you can use this as a base on your skin to give more longevity to fragrances that don't perform. My second best office niche fragrance is Penhaligon Sartorial. For the price, this may just be the best barbershop fragrance ever created. Scent-wise, I think this is probably a safe blind buy. It's a mature, classy, be well-dressed for this barbershop DNA with honey, a metallic effect, and overall a clean linen vibe. It is perfect for the office. It's not a compliment monster because it's not hugely projecting. It's softly projecting for about eight hours, and this works especially well in the colder weather. Maybe not the best for uh, an intense summer day. And finally, I've saved two of my favorite fragrances of all time for the date night category. Tom Ford's Tobacco Vanille. This is the smoothest tobacco you'll ever smell in your life. It has almost an edible quality to it. Again, it's tobacco and vanilla with a chocolate note in there as well. It's a little bit closer now. It has been reformulated, but it still lasts a long time, about 10 hours. If you really want to smell outstanding on a special occasion, or for any date you really want to impress. Make sure you dress well when wearing this fragrance. Tobacco Vanille will not disappoint. And finally, Zerzjof's Naxos. This is a more fresh take on tobacco. It's tobacco, honey, and lavender. I would say if you want a more mild approach to the tobacco notes, go for this. This is better than autumn in my opinion, but for winter, Tobacco Vanille wins it. But it's very close in the end. They're both masterpieces, some of the best niche perfumery you'll ever smell. This lasts a long time, it's about 10 hours. Whenever anyone detects this on me, they always say positive things. It smells expensive, this stands out, this is different and definitely worth the money. Thank you for watching guys. Let me know, what is your number one favorite niche fragrance in your collection? Again, you don't have to splurge out over $200 straight away without trying the fragrances. As I said, today's sponsor Lucky Scent will be in the description down below. Try them out, get whatever sample you want to try, and you can also purchase full bottles on their website as well. We'll see you in the next one. Class dismissed.